According to a press release, U.S. Marine Corps AH-1Z Viper attack helicopters fired the new AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground Missile or JAGM, at land targets in an operational test. The Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron fired eight shots against armored and light armored vehicles to demonstrate strike operations and close air support. The tests were conducted in December 2021 at Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Arizona. The release said, ultimately, the data collected is analyzed to determine overall system effectiveness and refine the attacks, techniques, and procedures of employing this weapon in expeditionary advanced base operations such as strike operations and close air support. This is part of a larger effort to upgrade the AH-1Z and UH-1Y helicopters to maintain a competitive advantage over potential adversaries. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how JAGM will make American helicopters super destructive. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Well, the test took place on December 6, 2021 at Yuma Marine Corps Air Force Base, Arizona. The official statement from the U.S. Marine Corps came on January 31, 2022. Viewers may note that earlier the capabilities of the JAGM missile were tested for naval purposes. Now U.S. Marines are testing how it will destroy ground targets. As per sources, the undertaking could significantly increase the striking ability of attack helicopters by arming them with more modern ammunition equipped with two sensor technologies and optimizing the characteristics of missiles for ground targets. The recent tests bring it closer to operational deployment. The AGM-179 JAGM is set to replace the current BGM-71 TOW, AGM-114 Hellfire, and AGM-65 Maverick missiles in the coming years. It's a new program of the Pentagon which should provide a new American air-to-surface missile. JAGM is a U.S. Army-led program managed by PEO Missiles in Space, Joint Attack Munitions Systems JAMS, Project Office, with joint interest with the U.S. Marine Corps USMC, and U.S. Navy. Years ago, the United States tried to develop AGM-169, but the program failed and funding was suspended. Lockheed Martin Corporation is the designer, developer, and manufacturer of the JAGM. In June 2016, the first successful test firing of JAGM was conducted from a UAV. Colonel James Romero of the U.S. Army's Joint Attack Munition Systems had said, The missile has several modes, and the missile successfully engaged the target without having to track and perfectly aim the platform at that target. The test, conducted at Dugway Proving Grounds in Utah, involved firing the JAGM from a Gray Eagle drone and striking a moving truck. Shot from a distance of approximately 8 kilometers at nominal altitude.
JAGM weighs 49 kilograms, or 108 pounds, and has a diameter of 18 centimeters. It can hit targets at a maximum distance of 8 kilometers, or 5 miles. The weapons of armed helicopters now adopt the long arm principle, which is to attack outside the attack range of the opponent's air defense weapons. This way, it can effectively eliminate the target but still remain safe. In this context, it's to be noted that most of the man pads or man portable air defense systems in operation today have a range of 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles. JAGM has been designed to provide an improved air to ground missile capability for rotary wing aircraft and unmanned aerial systems. The JAGM is suitable for use against high value, stationary, moving, and relocatable land and naval targets. JAGM utilizes a multi mode seeker to provide precision point and fire and forget targeting day or night in adverse weather, battlefield obscured conditions, and against a variety of countermeasures. The missile has two radars semi active laser and millimeter wave radar. Terminal guidance capability enables the platform to launch the weapon and depart the launch area to enhance aircraft survivability. A multi-purpose warhead is effective against a range of target types from armored vehicles, thin-skinned vehicles, and maritime patrol craft to urban structures and field fortifications. The missions of AH-1Z and UH-1Y helicopters will include penetrating airspace, potentially defended by ground-based point defense systems, as well as man pads. So it's important that it's equipped with a missile that can take out these threats and can also fulfill mission objectives that could include taking out enemy supply trucks, light armor vehicles, etc. JAGM's all-round capabilities make it a good fit, a single missile with configuration for many mission types. Since the first test, JAGM has been optimized in many ways. FY19 JAGM testing has demonstrated lethality against the up-armored T-72 and improved lethality against light-armored vehicles compared to weapons like Hellfire Romeo. JAGM delivers the Joint Services, a single air to ground missile with improved lethality, operational flexibility, and a reduced logistics footprint. Overall, it'll be a great addition to the American helicopters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.